Happy free workout Friday. Welcome to class. We got a 20 minute workout for you. All you need is one kettlebell, but if you have a pair, have that second one handy, we might be able to use it later. Let's go ahead and get started. Section one today is our warm up. It's five minutes. We're starting with air squats. Just nice and easy, no kettlebell. Drop it like it's hot. In three, two, one, and go. You're gonna follow along with Nikolai Puchlov, who is setting your pace today. I'm Amber, be talking you through the whole thing. We'd like to apologize that it's actually a free workout Saturday today because we didn't get the Friday out because we were visiting the foundry where our new pro kettlebells are being made. We were busy out there in South Dakota. So we're gonna move into a squat bender. We're gonna add a forward bend between each squat right now, just like that. So keep squatting and then forward, touch your toes. So we are super stoked about our kettlebells. We've got the smaller line. That one back there on the left is the Atlas. That goes up to 24 kilos. It's about 20% smaller than a standard competition kettlebell. And then the Apollos on the right start at 16 kilos and go all the way up to 34 kilos. And those are comparable to a regular competition kettlebell, just like a thousand times better. Okay, we're gonna go into slingshots. Grab a kettlebell, wrap it around your waist. We're going 30 seconds per direction. Nice hand switch in the back. You guys, we've been teaching kettlebell classes for um, nine years. And through that process, we've learned a lot about what people love about kettlebells and what people don't. So we've known for a long time, we wanted to make a better kettlebell and, um, and we did, and we're excited for you to try it. Reverse directions, pass that baby back around. So these are coming on the scene in this month. We just went out there to approve production because we had to see those samples in person, make sure they were up to our standards and they are it uh i just and i cannot tell you all the great things about it so i'm just going to stop talking about it but there's lots of info on our website and on pro kettlebell workouts app that talks about it back to working out we're going to move into figure eights in three two one widen your stance pass that kettlebell high between your legs and grab it for the hand switch behind your knees try to pass it as high between your legs as possible so you're bringing your arm into contact with your body during that switch. You don't want the bell to dip below your knees. Very good. In 10 seconds, we're gonna hold the kettlebell by the horns, bring our feet together, rest our forearms on top of our quads and do knee circles. Three, two, one, follow along. Rest those knees down, drop in tiny little circles. We're just gonna go 15 seconds per direction. Almost time to switch. All right, go ahead and reverse. Awesome. Just 10 more seconds here, then we're gonna do a minute of one arm swings. In five, four, three, two, one, stand up. Take a nice neutral stance, swing that baby high between the legs and just hold it in one hand as you do. Rocking back and forth, standing up nice and tall at the top of each rep. When you're swinging pro style like we do, you're really using those legs and the hips to control the trajectory so that kettlebell ends up being closer to your body at the top of the swing. You can add a little bend in your forearm, really control it. You're gonna switch hands. Three, two, one, and switch. So if you've ever been told you, you have to snap your hips or you're not doing it right, that is just it's just wrong, you guys. It's just wrong. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna throw it out. Add some, add some hissing. Yeah, um, sorry. It's just uh, a lot of people have been taught that and it's a great way to start. But if you wanna do maximum reps without injury, learn from us. All right, switching into star plank. Set that baby down out of the way. Walk out into a plank. Yeah. And then you're gonna take your right hand, push your hips up so you can touch your left foot. And then come back down, bring your hips back down between each rep, push your hips up so you can reach your other foot. So you're swapping hand to toe. We have a full minute so you can really warm up here. The straighter you can keep your legs, the better so you can get that hamstring stretch. 
but if you need a little bend in your knee, that's just fine. And if you can't reach your toe, that's just fine too. Just get as close as you can. You can also adjust your feet. Very good. 15 more seconds before we are officially beginning class. Hang in there. Four, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Great work. Okay, so section two. First real section, we're doing a little complex. Follow along, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna do two snatches. If you snatch, if you don't, you can just do a swing, but let's show them the snatch. Two snatches, one, two, and then you do a clean and squat. Clean, so you catch it in the rack position, drop it into a squat. Now back to your two snatches, it's two snatches, clean and squat. Excellent. If you're doing this uh, swing version, you can just swing it up to about chest height. It depends on how much energy you give it. Maybe it goes up to your chin, that's fine. Same thing. We're gonna do a minute per side and then 30 seconds per side without stopping. So it'll be three minutes straight. When we do our hand switches, we're gonna add an extra swing between your legs. Let go of the kettlebell when it's out in front of you and switch hands at the apex of that swing, just like that. That's a safe switch. All right, in five, four, three, two, one, two snatches, a clean and a squat. Let's go. We're gonna stop in that overhead lockout position just long enough till the bell is totally still. And then you can drop that baby back into the swing. Good work. When you catch the bell in the rack, you're gonna bring your elbow down to your torso, start from there, but then as you squat down, you can pull the elbow up so your bell is resting on your arm like it is a shelf as you go down. Good job, 15 seconds until our switch. Nice loose grip on the handle. You don't wanna have a bunch of tension as the handle is twisting in your hand that can result in calluses and let's switch hands. Awesome, it's a mental exercise as well to keep track of where you are. Thirty seconds down on this hand. Thirty to go. Then we'll go back to the other side. We have fifteen seconds until our switch. Next squat you do is going to be your best squat yet. Nice and deep. Press up through those heels. Stand up nice and tall at the top. We're going to switch hands in three, two one and switch 30 seconds per side and then we're done get ready for our final hand switch in three two one switch. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Great job, get a little sip of water, wipe yourself off if you need. We're moving in to the next section, side plank push-ups and kettlebell sit-ups. Side plank push-ups, you're gonna start in a push-up position. You're gonna do a push-up, and then you're going to rotate up into a side plank. Just leave your feet where they are, but twist your torso, point your arm at the ceiling, stack your shoulders, bring it back to the center, just like that. 
Of course, if you need to do it from your knees, you can do that as well. Then we're doing kettlebell sit-ups. Yes, thank you. Uh, hold on to your kettlebell at your chest. Careful when you're getting it into position. Hold it whatever way is comfortable. Down to the ground, sit up. Just a little crunch there, kettlebell crunch. The tighter you hold it to the chest, it's harder it's gonna be. If you need a little help, extend your arms a little bit, hold it out, you can cheat. We're all about cheating. Let's say we're gonna do three rounds, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Are you ready? Yeah, okay, side plank push-ups. In five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Push up, twist. Just, just like with the snatch, we're just holding our arm up long enough that you are rock steady and then you're dropping it back down. And you can push the pace on these push-ups. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, good job. 10 seconds of leisure to get ready for kettlebell sit-ups. In five, four, three, two, one, and go. As always, if you need a little extra challenge, you can try picking your feet up on the ground. Oof, 10 seconds left. Crunch, crunch. Five, four, three, two, one. One round down, two rounds to go. Side plank push-ups coming up. Three, two, one, breaks over, let's go. I think the tendency is to do these real leisurely like, but we're gonna give a little extra effort here. Really push up out of that push up and straight into the side plank because we don't have much time to get it done. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Cruising. Sit-ups, round two. Squeeze those rock-hard abs nice and tight and go. Let's do it. 20 seconds of hard work. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two one and time final round in five four three two one push up and go oh that was nice very crisp boom boom 10 seconds left Five, four, three, two, one. Great work. Last round of sit ups. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's hit it. Ooh, yeah. Fifteen seconds to go. Work it, squeeze it. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. We've made it to the end. Our finisher today is four minutes long. This is where you can use the doubles if you have them, but we're gonna show you the single version first. You're gonna do five thrusters. We're gonna do an AMRAP, so we're gonna go as many rounds. This is the way to accomplish a round. Five thrusters, you squat down, press it up, that's one, okay? thruster just like that your doubles version is going to be single bell right just like that count it the same so drop it down press it up okay so five of those either style then ten swings if you have one bell you're gonna do two hand swings so you'll safely set it down in front of you hike it up high between your legs swing it out in front you'll do twenty of the two ugh, can't speak ten of those if you want to do doubles you can go from those thrusters straight into doubles. Boom, boom, boom. Ringing those bells. Awesome. And then 
15 high knees, so knees to palms. You can use those palms as targets. Boom, boom, you're gonna count it. One, one, two, two, three, three, all the way up to five, 15. Just follow along. Four minutes, so as many rounds of that as you can. Five thrusters, 10 swings, 15 high knees. Try to keep track of where you go, where you are. All right, in five, four, three, two, one, and let's hit it. Thrusters. Drop into a squat, stand up, press that bell up overhead. This can kind of blend together. It's a little, little harder to do it that way. If you need to stand up, gain composure and then press, you can do that. Five of those, then 10 swings, doubles or singles. And then 15 high knees. All right, after you've done it, back to the top. Five thrusters, 10 swings, 15 high knees. Less than three minutes remain. Bringing those forearms into contact with your body before you hinge and let that bells go between your legs. So you want that arm body connection. So you're transferring the load and the weight of that kettlebells into your legs, not your back. All right, you can compose yourself between rounds or just keep going, just give it your best. As many rounds as you can do with perfect form, as fast as you can do with perfect form. Two minutes to go, just past the halfway mark. Ninety seconds left. Great work, hang in there. We're closing in on your final minute. seconds of hard work left. It's going to pay off for hours afterward. Give it your best. Forty-five seconds. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds, whatever you're doing now, do it all the way home, you guys. Whatever you're doing, hang in there. Keep going, keep going. Fifteen. Come on now. Keep going for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Congratulations. Woo! Let's do a really quick cool down. Let's just start with a forward bend. From seated or standing, bend at the waist, catch your breath, get your hands as close to your toes as you can. Whoo, good work. This is a sample of the hundreds of workouts that we have on our Pro Kettlebell Workouts apps on iOS and Android and Samsung TV. 
Go ahead and move to the floor, Nikolai. We're gonna do figure four. You're gonna grab your right foot, put it on your left knee, grab behind that left knee, pull it in tight, get that beautiful stretch right there. So we have programs that will teach you everything, even if you've never touched a kettlebell, up to really advanced kettlebell sport programs. Tons of stuff for you guys to check it out. All right, switch sides. Got 21 day challenge, 30 minute for 30 day challenge, five week challenges, all sorts of stuff. Beautiful, this is, this is my favorite part of the workout right here. All right, let's turn it on over onto your tummy. Arms go out to a T, right heel off of the floor and crosses over towards your left hand for the scorpion stretch. All right, back to the center and switch sides. All right, back to the center and push up into Cobra. So you can leave your forearms flat on the ground or you can push up all the way your arms straight and get up there and then go ahead and push your hips back over your heels and walk your hands forward to finish in child's pose yes you can grab onto a kettlebell in front of you get that extra stretch Wonderful work. Thanks for being here today. Make sure you like and subscribe and share with your friends if you want to see more of this. We want to see more of you. See you later. Thanks, Nikolai.